Steve, and to everybody who's out here tonight, I want to say something that I never thought I would say to all of you when I started my career about 10 years ago. Nothing I think I'd ever say to the fans in attendance, nothing I ever thought I'd have to say to you, Steve. We all know how you care for us. But I want to say, I'm sorry, all right? I know I haven't been the easiest person to deal with over the past year. No I know that people have started booing me. I'm not stupid. I hear it when I come out. They stopped cheering. They started booing. I don't know what to tell you guys. I tried the best I could. I've always tried the best I could. I was saying, and I think that the the pursuit of this record kind of got in the way. I kind of maybe lost myself a little bit. But I mean, it also helped me realize a few things while I've been here. And you know, see, the sad truth of it is, I think I've realized that there's nobody I can rely on but myself. What? You know, not you, not anyone in this crowd. It was stupid of me to put my faith in other people, whether it's all of you, or whether it's you. That was just dumb on my part. No, you can't do that. You cannot mean that. I do. Steve, I've appreciated all the support you've given me. I've appreciated your friendship over the year. But I just have to say this team is probably over. What? And, you know, your services are just no longer required here, Steve. What are you saying? I'm saying, Steve, is that sometimes, you know, life, sometimes you come out on top, and sometimes life is just one big kick in the balls. What? No, that's what I'm gonna say. Every single time you ask, no. I have been over this. 
There is nothing for me to gain by fighting a non-wrestler like yourself. If I win, I've just beaten a non-wrestler. If I lose, I got beat by a non-wrestler. Why would I accept that, Dean? That's stupid. Because you know who kicked your ass! Don't encourage her that. <laughs> yes. Listen, Dean, I'm not going to get in the ring with you. What? And after your cryptic, uh, whatever you want to call that, at the end of our last show in Warwick, throwing me Steve the Turtle Miner's mask, asking me to fight Turtle tonight. I've been back there. There's no Turtle. He's not here. I know that this is just another pathetic attempt by you to get inside my head, but it didn't work, Dean. I'm not going to fight anyone tonight, and I'm not going to fight you, ever. First of all, Turtle is here tonight. All right? But be before we get to that, let's deal with me and you. Let's deal with me and you in the ring, April 26th, Norwood, Massachusetts. Yeah, you want to see that? Is that I'll even go one step better. I'll even go one step better. Get this, get this. All right? I'll have my people write up a contract. I'll let you jot down a couple stipulations. Maybe something that you might want to gain out of getting your ass kicked by the commissioner. And your hair's done. Hey! No, I, okay, I hear what you're saying. So you're saying you are willing to put something on the line. And I get to decide what that is. Is that, that's what you're saying? Is that what I'm hearing? All right, what you're hearing is you've been flapping your gums for a long time. And I'm sick and tired of it. You turn on your partner, you turn on your best friend, you're scum, Doug. All right? Now, I'll take that one step further. I'll take the tie off, I'll get in this ring, and I'll shut you up myself. All right, all right. Listen, relax. You don't have to get all hostile on me right here. If you want a match in Norwood on April 26th, maybe we can work something out. But you are going to have to agree to what I want in that match. You have to put up with my stipulations, and you have to put something on the line. I'm not sure what it is yet, but I'll come up with something that gives me a reason to get in there. If you agree to what I'm saying here, we'll write it up, have your people call my people, which is me, I don't have people, but have them call me, and I'll work on it, if that's what you really want. Well, I'll let you think about it, okay. all right? You gather your senses and whatever else you do when you're not here. April 13th, Foxborough, Massachusetts. You and me, contract signing. You have until then, we'll sign for a match. April 26th. That's fine by me, dude. That's fine. Let's do it. Let's sign it on the 13th. All right. Okay. Contract signing April 13th. Our match April 26th. I am not shaking your hand. Now that I'm done with me, let's deal with you, Doug Summers. Right here, right now. Falls count anywhere. No disqualification. Riverside, Rhode Island. Steven, the turtle. What?
This is madness. It is! No! You want to turn on me? You are my friend! This is madness. These gentlemen have moved outside. This fight is in the brick cold out here in Riverside, Rhode Island. Steve the Turtle Whiner on the tail of Douglas Summers. Get that camera out of here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Get him! Get him! Oh! Oh! Oh God! Steve! Steve! Go! Keep it gentle! One! Two! Oh! I'm not done with you yet! Steve! Ah! Ah! Turn on me! Turn on me! Ah! 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 My beautiful eyes! Ah! You're so beautiful! Back inside! Back inside! Let go! Suicide! No! No! Big splash!
I think it's time to shell up. Uh, yeah! Get 
with riffs that split picks Pumping for the kids who twist spliffs and sit fists I got the gift, I'm about to unwrap it Eight ball, side pocket. Eight ball in my jacket Pussy and blow, you know how I live Can't say that, kid, fuck off, I just did Watch me twirl like Earl the Pearl Or just keep on kid rocking in the free world Punk rock, and I mix it with the hip thing on that's good because I want this down I want this on film I want people to know I want people to know what happened and what went down I have been getting beaten from pillar to post for the past three months around here first Todd Sopel comes after me Kellen Thomas comes after me and tonight Dean Livesley pulls a fast one on me. I gotta give him credit. He did it. I thought after what I did to Steve Weiner, he would never step in a wrestling ring again. But there he was tonight, like some vengeful ghost beating me all over Riverside, Rhode Island. So I bet Dean thinks he's 
he's won this whole thing. You know, but he hasn't. That's what we have to keep in mind. This war isn't over yet. These little battles that Dean keeps winning, ultimately, are just going to be meaningless. Believe me, a year from now, I'm glad this is on film so people know that I said this. A year from now, no one's going to remember that Todd Sobel beat the hell out of me. No one's going to remember Kellen kicked my nose off of my face. No one's going to remember Steve Weiner throwing a chair at me and then a shell like some kind of crazy Mario brother give me the kingdom hearts. No one's going to remember any of that. All right? <clears throat> Dean has let his pride and his jealousy, because let's face it, that's what this is really all about, cloud his judgment and get in his way. And now he's agreed to put up my stipulations and I can decide what's on the line in that match. Dean, I already have an idea. I already have an idea, and when this airs, after it's all happened, you're going to know I had this idea. I'm going after something big here. The biggest prize of them all. It's going to completely change everything here. This time next year, no one's going to have Doug Summers to kick around anymore. I'm going to be the one doing the kicking. And all these people who want to stick up for their buddy, Steve Weiner, all these guys who came after me in the name of justice and doing what's right. And these other laughable ideals. They're going to be down at the bottom again. See, I'm like a, I'm like a snake right now. I'm all coiled up down in my hole. And Dean knows I'm down there, but he just can't help himself. Dean's like a big, stupid animal. He just keeps reaching into that hole, trying to find me. And I'm all coiled up, and I'm getting ready to strike. April 13th, Foxborough, Massachusetts. Everyone's going to know exactly what I have in mind. And if Dean is man enough to still agree to the match after all that, I don't know if man enough is the right term. You just might be stupid enough in that category. But if he does, then just two weeks after that, April 26th, Norwood, Massachusetts, NCW's big reunion show, everything is going to change. Oh, yeah. You won't have Doug Summers to kick around anymore.